Hello, this is the American Contractor. Today is Friday, 24th of February, 2012. Just want to go over a few things with you. Um, a lot of talk about the deletion of the three zeros. When they first started out this, uh, that verbiage uh, about a year and a half ago, what they really meant was changing out the currency. And um, apparently, I've been saying for the last seven years that uh, no currency has been reprinted. No new currency has been reprinted uh, with a different design or anything like that. And here we have an article just published just a few days ago, um, talking about the governor, uh, Sinan Shabibi. And he says, quote in this article, uh, that there is much work in continuing in relation to the process of deletion of zeros. Now we have many ideas for the design of the coin and paper to reach a final form for the new currency. And that right there, and so that quote right there says that, uh, basically saying that the new currency has not been printed at all. And they still haven't got any approval yet from the Iraqi government to print this new currency which they must have. They must have the uh, authorization from the parliament to uh, print the uh, authorization to print uh, and mint this coin in, in the new currency. So this is, um, this is an ongoing process. Um, the articles about May and September, uh, they're not true. Um, I don't see anything from what I'm hearing. I don't see anything happening uh, in the year 2012. You're likely, most likely seeing the new currency in the latter part of 2013, probably the beginning of 2014. Because so there's still a lot of committees studying this idea. They're not really for sure going to do this. Um, and they're still studying, studying this, uh, you know, the deletion of three zeros, the new currency. How is it going to benefit the Iraqi economy? And um, I know this is going to be, um, um, you know, viewed as negative. But it, it's not. It's just. It just. It's a process. Uh, there's a lot of pros and cons to uh, you know changing out their currency. So they want. They just well, what they're doing is they just want to do it right and uh, take their time with it. But it's not going to be a fast process like uh, everybody thinks it is. Back to the Iranian involvement. This is another uh, sore spot with the CBI. Uh, we already had the uh, news articles about the seven billion uh, in in um, counterfeit dinars. Um, this is a major problem because now everybody's looking at the CBI saying, you know, how long did you know about this? When did you know about it? How come you didn't let the government know? And uh, Chris was creating a lot of uh, questions about the CBI. And what the reporting about the um, the um, U.S. dollar current, you know, the foreign reserve, $60 billion, they keep, they keep reporting this. Now people are questioning, is this actually accurate? And um, are they sure about this? So you're going to see a lot more articles coming out probably in the next couple months, especially when it's coming up with to the, uh, the development funds of Iraq, the DFI funds in New York. Um, they're still being protected up until uh, they expire in May. So this is all going to come into play, all this scenario with the CBI and the uh, counterfeit dinars. Um, so it's going to raise a lot of questions with the CBI. So you're going to start seeing articles about this. Um, and um, it's, it's going to be a lot of questions towards the CBI. And at the same time, they're trying to print out the new currency or decide what the designs are, the designs of the new coin and the new currency. That's into play. So it's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of conferences, a lot of meetings, and to, to nail this down and see exactly what they're going to do and, and why they're doing it. So it's just not a done deal. Especially just another article about impacting the Iraq economy against the uh, foreign reserves. Like I said, it's a big problem with the uh, counterfeiting. It's, it's, it's a major problem with the CBI and the banking. Because everybody's scared now. It spooked a lot of people. And uh, this article shows also, it's not the Baza newspaper. And uh, this article talks about Chapter 7. Chapter 7 is uh, it's a major thing. And hopefully they can, um, Mal PM Malky, when he goes to Kuwait, that he can get this resolved and, and get, get um, some type of under um, agreement with the Kuwaitis to get Iraq out of Chapter 7. Another, another problem they have with the Kuwaitis is that the horizontal drilling that they're doing, um, allegedly to steal uh, Iraqi oil from the, uh, in the borders of the Iraqi and the, uh, Iraqi and the Kuwaiti border. So that's going to be another topic that I have to discuss about. So that just adds more, more fuel to the fire that uh, PM Malgi has to talk about. That would be all for the American Contractor on Friday. Um, try to try to get another article out. A really good article I'm trying to work on today and um, try to get out to you about the uh, deletion of the zeros, which is very um, enlightening, enlightening to uh, to everyone.
So I appreciate the emails, appreciate the comments, and uh, you know, thanks, thank you for visiting uh, the AmericanContractor.com website.